So how do we do that? Get first the value of b, which is negative 6. Then divide it by Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to convert a quadratic function to its vertex form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, what we have here for today's video is that we will have these quadratic functions and these are to be converted into the vertex form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Now, one of the purposes of converting a function to its vertex form is for us to easily know our vertex. Remember that the vertex of a quadratic function is denoted as h and k. And as you can see, h is here and k is here. So let's start with number 1. We have here y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. And how do we convert this into this form? First step is that we will copy y and then we will regroup first the terms of this function. This first term x squared minus 6x must be placed inside a parenthesis like this. Quantity x squared minus 6x plus 5. And now what's next? We will try to complete the square of these two terms. We will make this a perfect square trinomial. So how do we do that? Get first the value of b, which is negative 6. Then divide it by 2. Again, get the value of b, or the coefficient of the x term. Negative 6 divided by 2. And the answer is negative 3. And then after that, square the quotient. And as you can see, the correct answer is 9. Now again, get negative 6 divided by 2. The answer is negative 3. Square it, the answer is 9. So what will happen here, it will become y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus this one plus 9. And then, aside from adding 9, we will negate this by subtracting 9 here. Again, the purpose of subtracting 9 here is to make this 0. Okay, so what will happen here is that this time, since this one is already a perfect square trinomial, we need to express this into a square of binomial. Since this is a perfect square trinomial, it is easy for us to factor out this one. It is just x minus 3 raised to the second power. How did we get this? Get the square root of x squared, which is x. Get the square root of 9, which is 3. Then copy the sign of the middle term, which is minus, and then square. Lastly, we have here 5 minus 9, which is equal to negative 4. And as you can see, comparing this equation or this function here, we already converted this function into its equivalent vertex form. So the correct answer is y is equal to the quantity of x minus 3 squared minus 4. And earlier, I told you that if we'll convert a function to its vertex form, we can easily identify its vertex. Now, what is a vertex? As for the vertex, we have h, comma k. Here, this is your h, and this is your k. But be careful, instead of writing negative 3, you will reverse or get its additive inverse. That would be 3. And then, as for the value of k, as is, that is negative 4, meaning the vertex of this quadratic function or the parabola is located at 3, comma, negative 4. Now let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, same process. You can pause the video for a while if you want to try answering number 2. Now let's continue. For this, copy your y and then 
regroup the terms to be x squared minus 4x minus 1. Now, let's complete the square. Get negative 4. Divide it by 2. The answer is negative 2. Square it. The correct answer is 4. So what will happen here? It will become y is equal to x squared minus 4x. This is plus 4 minus 1. Since we added 4 here to make it 0, we will subtract 4 here. Now, this is already a perfect square trinomial. We'll express this into a square of binomial. We have y is equal to the quantity of x, square root of this, x, then copy the sign minus the square root of 4 is 2, and then put a square here. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. As you can see, this one is the vertex form of the given function. What about the vertex? What are the coordinates of the vertex? As for the vertex, since this is negative 2, we will just put positive 2. And as for the value of k, which is negative 5, as is negative 5. So I hope guys you're learning from the first and second example. Now let's move on with the third and the fourth example. Now, for number 3, we are given y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. So this time, it's quite different because the coefficient of or the value of a is greater than 1. But don't worry about it. I will teach you how to do this. We have y is equal to regroup this. 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. Next, before completing the square, we will try to factor out the value of a, which is 2. So it will become y is equal to 2 times x squared, and this negative 8x will become negative 4x plus 3. Since we've already done factoring out the value of a, we can complete the square of these two terms. Get the value of negative 4, divide by 2. The answer is what? The answer is negative 2. Square this number, the correct answer is positive 4. Now, listen carefully. This is y is equal to 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4, then plus 3. Then, we're not going to subtract 4 because 4 minus 4 here is wrong. Since this was 4, again, huh? to get the number here, we have here 4 times 2. Again, multiply it by the value of a. That is 8. And then, this must be minus 8. Now, let's continue. y is equal to 2 times this one. Express this into square root binomial. That is x minus 2 raised to the second power. And here, this will be negative 5. And this is now the vertex form of the given function y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. And as for the coordinates of the vertex, we have here negative 2, so we will write that as positive 2. And as for the value of k, that is negative 5. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to convert quadratic functions in its converted vertex form. So as for your assignment, I will give you an activity wherein I will ask you to convert this into the vertex form and please identify the vertex. Comment your answer. Bye-bye!